wishing you a happy new year yet. I know Tom Toretta joins me and wishing you a good 2023, right, Tom? That's right. It's going to be a great year. Yeah, Tom is with us. He's a big part of our family. And of course, he is part of the team at the Council on Aging here in St. John's County. And you guys are getting ready to celebrate a big birthday. We are. So um, sometime between 2023 and 2024 is our 50th anniversary. Wow, you're AARP eligible. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. So it's kind of, uh, we started in 73 serving the community, but we be officially became a nonprofit in 74. So that's why it's kind of, yeah, it's going to be a you. longer than a one day thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you'll get, you know, the public's cake, right? The that's right. Yeah. Cake. We'll definitely have cake Actually, next You guys, you guys 24. can make your own cake. We'll have one in 24. Yeah. yeah. It'll be delicious. I'll learn more about our <laughs> Council on Aging by going to coasjc.org. Obviously, that stands for St. John's County. COA sjc.org and we are fortunate very privileged here in st john's county to have one of the best councils on aging anywhere in america in terms of activities the facilities that they have the breadth of the programs that go all the way across the county it's pretty phenomenal and we hear that from people and our listeners especially if you have any questions too you can always call and talk to a real live human being at 904-209-3700 209-3700 you may have questions about river house events for weddings and corporate events or their council on aging travel club all kinds of things but uh, lots of stuff going on as we head into the new year at the council that's on right. aging right that's right that's right there's all kinds of things going on each of our we have six different senior centers and they each have activities taking place um, our lifelong Le learning center which is at river house is open to anyone 18 and older all the programs that take place during the week um, we have all the information on our website, which is www.coasjc.org. Um, but the programming at Riverhouse has some programs that you pay for. So it's, I think it's 30 or $35 per class, and it's a four-week class. And then we also have some things that are free at Riverhouse, like lectures and different things that take place that people can take part of. For yeah. example, AARP is going to be helping people do their taxes at Riverhouse this year. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, those folks are great. Great volunteers that help you with your taxes and you know, maybe you want to be like Tom, you can learn how to play the guitar. And the interesting thing about pointing out that Tom learned how to play the guitar there, as well as anybody of any of the musicians we play here, right, Tom? <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm yeah. going live soon. Yeah, yeah, going live. We'll be at the amphitheater <laughs> next year. Um, but the great thing is, Tom, you know, obviously not yet a senior, but a lot of, a lot of these programs are for folks at any age. Right. Anyone 18 and older can take any of the classes. So that's the biggest thing. Whenever I get into a room and I say, I'm with Tom with the Council on Aging, a lot of people think, oh, I don't need that or I don't, you know, have to worry about that. And it's, it's not that you have to worry about it, but maybe you want to take advantage of some of the things we're doing. Yeah. Hey, even if you're 18, you're aging. If you're not aging, you're dead. Those yeah. are the only two options we <laughs> have <right>. right. <laughs> <laughs> Learn more by going once again to coasjc.org. It's fun if you stop by the River House, which, of course, is away from downtown, but obviously on the river. It's almost like going into a little college because uh, all different classes going on. You hear a lot of laughter. You'll see people playing cards. You'll see folks in the library reading and talking and you know, it's just a lot of fun. And we had a belly dancing class, too. So there's all kinds of things going on at River House. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to see Tom taking the belly oh, yeah. dancing class. You better be paying big bucks for that. Yeah, that's why we're <laughs> going to charge admission for that. <laughs> Call with any questions that you have about our Council on Aging here in St. John's County by going to the phone number 904-209-3700. Better yet, go to the website because there you'll see a class schedule. Right. right? Each of the centers has its own class schedule up on our website. Yeah. So, and yeah. that web address is www.coasjc.org. Hey, our time with Tom and the Council on Aging made possible exclusively by Cog and Honda of St. Augustine. Jim and his entire team, we appreciate them. Cog and Honda of St. Augustine, US 1 South. Okay, at the beginning of the year to Get us up to speed on what's going on with the Council on Aging. And we appreciate Cog and Honda of St. Augustine for making it possible for us to spend some time with the St. John's County Council on Aging. A lot of you may have spent some time with older adult relatives or friends, parents, grandparents. Maybe they shared with you a dementia diagnosis or an early Alzheimer's diagnosis of some kind. Maybe you just noticed some issues like that. Uh, there are some great programs with our local Council on Aging to help, right? There are indeed a lot of programs to help. Um, we have a, a nurse named Paulette who mm -hmm. is more than happy to meet with anyone who has recently been diagnosed or thinks someone in their family may have some form of dementia or cognitive decline. 
and she can meet with you and give you advice about, you know, what you should and shouldn't do, how you should deal with that person. Um, we have a program called IMEP, which is the in Integrative Memory Enhancement Program, which is a classroom environment, and there are two-hour classes and five-hour classes, and people can come in, and they sit in a room with 10 other people in similar situations, and they, they form strong bonds and friendships, and they actually work different parts of the brain every day. Mm. So you can go once a week and go four times a week. We have classes throughout the county. Um, and we find that people get in that classroom and they really enjoy coming to the point that they want to go on the weekends too. And wow. so it's really, really, really fun to see. If you have any questions about uh, that kind of program and all the other programs that our local Council on Aging here in St. Augustine has to offer you and your family, friends and neighbors, call 209-3700 for the St. John's County Council on Aging, 209 209- 3,700. Uh, you also have a great travel club. Yes, we do. We have a travel club, and, and they're meeting real soon. So they're going to meet on Monday at River House at 2 p.m., and then they're going to meet again on Tuesday, the 10th, at the Flagler Health Plus Village location for the Council on Aging at 2.30. Um, and anyone's invited. There's no fee to be a member of the travel club. You just come to the meetings. You talk about where you may want to go. You hear about where we are definitely going, and if you want to get on one of those trips, you just book through the, the club. Um, yeah, I've seen all this because uh, I follow you on social media that they go to, you know, different places. Maybe if you've never done this before, there's little bite-sized chunks, you know, maybe mm -hmm. where you just go to South Florida or Tampa. And mm -hmm. then if you're ready to step up your game a little bit, they'll take you to New Orleans, right? Exactly. Yeah. So for example, they're going to do a day trip to historic Mount Dora yeah. on uh, the 9th of March, but then they're also going to go on a cruise they actually left on a cruise, or they leave on a cruise on the 14th of January, going to uh, San Juan, Tortola, St. Kitts, and Nevis. So, I mean, they're going all over the place. And they'll also be taking trips to Europe and all different things. So, however big you want to go, we have something that meets your needs. <laughs> yeah. And come make some friends. I mean, that's the big part. Socialize. Yeah, you get to, yeah, you get to make friends. Uh, obviously, economies of scale. You know, they're able to negotiate really good rates for travel. Right. You know, but you, more importantly, you're going to meet people that... You know, are, are in your situation, you're going to meet some new people and have a lot of fun. And right. these are also well-executed trips. They're well thought out and planned. So also, you don't have to worry about anything. You just show up. Exactly. And for a lot of them, especially the cruises, mm -hmm. they'll meet at the Council on Aging parking lot mm -hmm. and we'll have a bus and we'll drive you right wherever you go to the port or to the town you're going to and you'll get off the bus and you'll do whatever you do. And then when you come back, you get back on the bus. We bring you back to your car in the parking lot. There so simple. Go. Easy. Uh, go to coasjc.org if they want to find out about the Travel Club. I guess that's easy to find on the website, right? Yeah, there's actually right at the top, there's on the far right, it says Travel Club. Yeah, there you go. Go to the website, coasjc.org. That's coasjc.org. If you have any questions about the dementia program we talked about earlier or about joining the Travel Club or any of the other programs, classes, Meals on Wheels and the like, when we come back, actually, we're going to talk about Meals on Wheels in particular here in St. John's County, so stay tuned. Cliff Richard here on 103.9 WSOS. Apparently did not have a good relationship with that young lady. He was singing a top 40 song calling her a devil woman, Tom. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> That's back before, you know, he could get on Instagram and trash her. He just <laughs> decided he would do it on international radio. It is uh, about seven minutes before 11 o'clock. Tom Toretta is here with us. His time with us and the Council on Aging's time with us made possible exclusively by Cog and Honda of St. Augustine. Thanks, we, Jim. Yeah, thank you, Jim, and the whole team at Cog and Honda of St. Augustine. We're, by the way inventories are back Yay. new cars are available yeah Yay. so thank you covid for making it hard to buy a car <laughs> but not anymore not anymore lots of new hondas and previously loved vehicles available for sale at cog and honda us one south council on aging um interesting we were talking with tom i had some misconceptions that he helped correct me on in terms of you know meals on wheels and how to access meals on wheels who can get them how many times a week can pet food be provided Kind of give us a little tutorial on Meals sure. on Wheels so that we all know what we're talking about. Right. So everyone knows Meals on Wheels. Um, it's been around for a long time. And a lot of people think that Meals on Wheels is something that you have to qualify for and you get for free. 
Right. And that is part of the process. So you can qualify to get Meals on Wheels for free um, through the, the government, basically, through Elder Source, and um, you get, they fund that program. But there is a wait list for that. There's always a wait list for free meals. But anyone can get Meals on Wheels for $8 a day. And you could choose to get two meals a day. You can get them seven days a week. You can get them five days a week. You can get them once a week. Um, it's up to you. If you pay eight dollars, we'll have a volunteer will come bring the meal to your house on the day you want it, and then um, enjoy the meal. We make them fresh in the kitchen every day. We have a crew in there early in the morning. They get there around five thirty, six o'clock, and they start cooking. They cook the meals, and basically the way it works is the meals they cook that day we serve in the senior centers that day, and we flash freeze them, and then we deliver them the next day to the people on the Meals on Wheels list. So that's how that works. And um, I really recommend it. The food's really good. And it's something you don't have to think about. My grandfather, when my grandmother was diagnosed with dementia, my grandfather finally listened to me and got Meals on Wheels. And it made his life that much easier because he wasn't a cook. She was the cook. Right. And um, he hated a microwave, blah, blah, blah. But I told him, look, just get a microwave. That's all I have to do. You put the food in the microwave for a minute, take it back out, and you're done. And so it was so much easier when he was trying to struggle to take care of my grandmother by himself. Yeah. At least the Meals on Wheels helped. And then once she had passed, he kept getting the Meals on Wheels just for himself because he enjoyed them that much. So, yeah. Well, it gives them diversity. It's so funny. I had the same situation with my grandfather. My grandmother passed away earlier. And um, yeah, without Meals on Wheels, he would have been eating hot dogs three meals a right. day. And he would have been perfectly fine probably doing that. But his doctor wouldn't have been happy with no, that decision. <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, we often hear, too, of the need for volunteers for Meals on Wheels. I guess there are those opportunities, too. Maybe a lot of you have made a New Year's resolution to maybe volunteer this year. Right. So Council on Aging has over 600 volunteers. About 200 of them are involved with the Meals on Wheels program. And that's through helping in the kitchen and also helping deliver meals. So we have 15 standard routes every day that we deliver. And then we have some other routes that come once, twice, three times a week, depending on where we're going. And uh, we really rely on all our volunteers. They're, they're like staff. Um, if they're not going to make it, they call in and let us know because we have to get the meals to people. You know, so we have to make the magic happen. And these, the volunteers are so steadfast and so engaged. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. No. It's so huge shout out to all our volunteers, whether you're in Meals on Wheels or not. You guys, without you, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. Absolutely. No, we appreciate you. I know our community does as well. And if you ever have the opportunity to take the tour of how they do the Meals on Wheels, it's incredibly impressive. I've seen the whole kitchen operation and mm -hmm. was able to visit there early in the morning. And uh, it's amazing. And it has to run as well as it does in order to meet the demand here in St. John's County. Right. So anyone who wants to volunteer, regardless of what department you want to volunteer in, maybe you don't even know what department you want to volunteer in, or you assume you want to do Meals on Wheels, we give you a tour. And a lot of times the folks who came in wanting to do Meals on Wheels wind up being Meals on Wheels volunteers, plus they do something else because yeah. they have no idea of all the different programs we have going on at Council on Aging for our yeah. seniors. And now, the amazing programs, uh, opportunities for people to spend time during the day with different classes and social activities. And uh, it's amazing. And you learn a little bit more about that uh, just by going to the website, for one, I encourage you to do that. At any age, you know, a lot of folks say, oh, Council on Aging, that's just for the really, really old folks. That is not true. Not at all. Not true. And so go to coasjc.org to learn more. That's coasjc.org. You can also call 904-209-3700 for our Council on Aging here in St. John's County. Tom, before we let you go, any closing thoughts? Anything we need to make sure people know about? I just want to... For personal, I want to say hi to my dog, Layla. New my, dog in the family. My wife, Eileen, who's now taking care of Layla. <laughs> hey, Eileen. Dog mom. Yeah, and then my mom's probably listening from New Jersey, too. So that's oh, very, going good. On. Yeah. Oh, very good. But, Tom, yeah. we appreciate you. Uh, we'll get up to date with you again next month. Thank you, and have a good month with the Council on Aging. All right, and thanks again to Cog and Honda. Appreciate it. <laughs>